from getting tased for stealing a phone to running off to avoid a ticket. He didn't tell me a price for getting my boot off. So what'd you do? Change my tire. Watch a bunch of dirty cops get caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Disclaimer, all content in this video is for educational purposes only. On August 1st, 2020, Bibb County deputies were at a downtown bar to retrieve a stolen phone. CCTV got them a suspect, off-duty Dublin cop Gary Jamad Jones. I'm looking at you on camera, got you getting the phone, man. So he, he, he just put his yeah, phone up. You see it? All right, I'm gonna let you watch it from here. See that? Yeah, it's in his hand. Huh? It's in his hand. Yeah. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, Mr. Jones? Yes, sir. Here's the deal, okay? This is what's gonna happen, okay? I already talked to the victim. He gets his phone back, no one goes to jail, okay? But mark my words, okay? I'm not gonna play You understand me? I'm not gonna around. I'm not gonna waste my time because technically I'm supposed to be getting off in a little bit, okay? So if no phone gets produced, Okay, then I'm gonna take all three of you. Not just you, but all three of you. So, where's the phone at? Sir, I can tell you a thousand times over again. I just watched you in the video take the phone. Do you not understand that? Look at me, look at me, look, look at me. Is stupid written across my forehead right now? Sir, did I, I say just that? literally watched you on the video take the phone can I say and walk outside. So, can where's I say the anything? phone? But instead of taking him right to jail, they cut a deal for this dirty cop. Things couldn't get any easier, right? He's handing me the warrant. Okay. Sir, I'm telling you a thousand times, I have no idea. My hands have been up the whole entire time. I have not flinched. I have not reached for my pockets or anything. You can check me for the phone. Okay. I have not flinched or anything. Let me, I work this on a daily basis. I have right. locked people. Listen, it shows you picking up the phone. All we want to know at this point is where's the phone at now? Where did it go from the time And I have you nothing it? to lie to you about. My okay. hands have been that, up okay. the entire time. Once again, it's lying. on camera You're... of you picking up the phone. On camera, you picking up the phone. And walking out with it. So, where did the phone go? And that way we can go from here and figure out what we need to do. May I answer the question before y'all start antagonizing me? So, on camera. I understand that it's on camera. I deal with this on a daily basis with people that I lock up myself. May I answer the question which, which uh, they all antagonizing me? So, uh, I mean, I, I mean, you can shake your head. You can do whatever you can do. Mr. Nod. Jones, just answer the damn question, okay? Where's the phone? May I say yes? Can I, can I give a yes or no? Spit out what you're trying to say. You don't have to scream at me like that. Well, you're wasting time. I'm just saying you don't have to scream at me like that. Look, look you either get out whatever you're going to say or we're done. Dude, my hands have been up there. What's your name? Okay, Miss Jones. Okay, all right. I bet. You can go ahead and lock me up. I don't care. But he did care. And after they called his supervisor and still didn't let him go, this delusional cop kicked things up a notch. What else do you want? I told you to search you know, me see, like, several you, times. See, you I, do, saying, I know the law. You can't you f tell me anything, No, bro. you seem to All think right. because you don't have this phone All on right. you, you didn't steal it. Right, and bro. that's not the case. All right, bro. I don't, I don't know, you know the law, you know what? Okay. Fine, we're, we're done. Turn, stand up, turn around. Stand, stand up, turn around. No. Take, take me, I don't care. Stand up and Mr. turn Jones. around. Give me a Man, Mr. Jones, don't even do this. Stand up, come on, turn around, put your hands back to back. Call a lieutenant, okay? Call a lieutenant, I don't care. Because this is some Five bullshit because they don't want to listen to me. I need you to stand up. No, I'm not because y'all won't even give me you a chance to talk. under arrest. So we need you to do stand whatever, up. Do whatever, tase me, do whatever. Five I don't care. Detained. I mean, more units sent to the crazy bullshit. Oh, he's going to regret saying that in a minute. Because if this has to it's escalate, fine. if this has to Sir, escalate. Shut the f up. I know what's fine. I know the f rules. I've been a f police officer for a f year. Okay. Well, right now, you're being told you're under arrest. You will be tased. Do you understand that? Yeah, I've been tased four times. In my Do you understand life. that? Alright, we ain't even got to go this far. Just stand up and put your hands behind your back. Tell him to put the taser up. Put, no. Stand up and put your hands back. No, no, no. That's no. Tell him to put the taser up and get up. Stand up and turn around. Come on. Come on. This is ridiculous at this point. I need you to stand up and put your hands. You please let me go. I'll stand up. Stand up. Okay, fair enough. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. Once Gary stood up, the deputy spotted the stolen phone right in his back pocket, and that is when things got real for this dirty cop. I bet you will, because you love this shit right now. Bear with me, okay? I apologize, yeah, sir. 
The phone was in here. His back was in here. His back was in here. His back was in here. The phone was in here. Oh, shit. Yeah. I've told y'all several times to check my ass, hey, but y'all don't want to. Hey, stop talking. Right, damn. Hey, let's pull him out. Come on. Come on. Go this way. Yep. Get up on your knees. You're about to get it. Keep, keep being stupid and you're going to get it again. Sir, I done told y'all no, several times. You got to stop. Get up. I done told y'all several times. Time, bro. Stop. But a little bit of tasing was not going to keep this dirty cop down. Are we really going to have to do this? Yep, we sure are. Mr. Jones, get, get in the, the car. Again. I mean it. You're going to get, get tased car. again. Get in the car. Dude, I'm not doing nothing but standing here. His feet in. Gary was taken to the county jail where he tried gaslighting everybody. It was in your pocket. And I told you to check it. It doesn't matter. He so still stole the phone. Stole the it doesn't matter. Okay, so let me. Let me okay, all right, so. No, 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 no. I'll listen to you, Glade. What? No, tell no, me. No, 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 no. So, so you're telling me if you have somebody out on a tra traffic stop. Traffic stop. On a what? Traffic stop. And oh, okay. they tell you to check their pockets. You can gladly check their pockets. And if they have to open them, they go to jail. And I told you to check it several times, but you told them, but you told them what? What did you tell me? No, several times, right? I didn't tell you that. That wasn't no. me. Okay, all right, bro. That wasn't me. Okay, okay, bro. I was trying. But you was at, you yeah, know, that's the one you were talking yeah. to. This lame attempt at gaslighting didn't stop him from being charged with felony theft by taking and misdemeanor obstruction of a police officer. But after completing a pre-trial diversion program, the charges were tossed. So even though this swiper got kicked out of the Dublin Police Department, he's free to get a badge somewhere else. Stealing a phone and lying about it is about as dumb as it gets. Still, doesn't come close to what this cop did to get away from paying a ticket. What's the guy want? Because the guy didn't, he didn't tell me a price for getting my boot off. So what'd you do? Change my tire. But first, on January 18th, 2018, San Antonio police were called to Ingram Park Mall about a fellow officer caught shoplifting at Macy's. Okay. Resisting. I had my gun. I have my gun. I'm protecting my gun. We're out of. Out of uh, that's what I was holding. Okay, out of where? What office? Let's help. The woman in cuffs getting a taste of her own medicine is Stephanie Solis, a nine-year veteran with the force, and she gave the dumbest reason to explain why the mall security thought she was shoplifting. I went out there to use the phone. Can I get a sergeant to my location? <sighs> Okay. Where's my my purse? Look, all my cash is in there, right there. Okay. So let's go to the office. All I was doing was using Just let them know we're gonna be in the loss prevention office, and we're just gonna be waiting in there for the time being. One step at a time. Okay. If there's nothing, then it's nothing. But you know as well as I do how we have to deal with it, right? Okay. I wasn't resisting. I was holding my gun. And and that and that, and that may be. That may be, but we yeah. still gotta take it. But the store security had another story to tell. And it turns out Stephanie had had a busy day. She picked her up on camera. Yeah, CCTV. <clears throat> Selecting this one. She already had this one. Uh, we got a call from the associate that she was walking away with it. Just standard, we start watching them once they walk away from the area. She goes downstairs and she goes to the home department. At this point, he starts floor surveillance and we got her concealing this one and this one into the bag in the home department, she exits the home department and then goes towards the men's fragrance and then she selects this one and walks straight out with it. And then at that point we approached her and identified ourselves and she started resisting from there. Yeah, that's basically But she, you got her, but this is when you got her 
her back in the store, right? Yes. Because yeah. we had already seen her walk out part of Okay, so she walked out yeah. and the officer escorted struggling. her back in and now she's struggling. Yeah. To put a hat on a hat, they also found a ton of drugs in her bag. Well, turns out this wasn't Stephanie's first rodeo. Five, a San Antonio police officer accused of shoplifting while off duty, now facing more serious allegations. A search warrant obtained by our defenders accusing Officer Stephanie Solis of taking thousands of dollars of perfume from a victim while in uniform. This dirty cop had done a fake sting on a woman in 2017 and stolen $5,000 worth of perfume. And what did she do with the thing she stole? Prior to her shoplifting arrest, shows Solis trying to sell items at a discounted price, including several perfume. Yeah, I mean, you don't like seeing your officer's name pop up here or anywhere else, so it's, uh, it's, uh, unfortunate that that this is happening all this to fund her drug habit but the long arm of the law must have been in a cast because the theft charge was dismissed and stephanie would only plead guilty to possession of a controlled substance she was sentenced to four years probation and fired from the department i don't know what's more embarrassing getting disarmed by a mall cop or the dumb look on her face. But that's still not the craziest thing a cop has stolen. In the early hours of July 12th, 2021, Key West deputies responded to a very bizarre theft. Okay. There was a car parked here. I guess the time go over or something. He didn't pay at all. The car got booted, yep. which I've seen you do before. Yep. He removed the whole wheel of his car, put it in his trunk. Yeah, he had a hydraulic jack in the back. He Jack's pickup, is it a pickup truck or yeah, something? Jack's yeah, Dodge. And then he put a new tire on and then drove away. If you're wondering what kind of diabolical mind can come up with that, it's this guy. That's Edward Allen Swagger, a Monroe County deputy who should definitely know better. What's the guy want? Because the guy didn't, he didn't tell me a price for getting my boot off. So what'd you do? Change my tire. So you took the tire he, off your truck? He, you I see? asked him, I said, how much is it? He goes, I'll tell you in a minute. He kept scrolling his thing. I said, dude, I said, it's going to be quick for me to change my tire, then you tell me that. He's like, well, the cops are coming. That's so, what he told me. So you just decided to grab your stuff and leave? Like, yeah, is that reasonable? Yeah. I mean, speak about it. Think about I, it. Is that reasonable? I don't, listen, I will pay him, whatever. Well, it's, but we're, we're it's, past that now. We're, we're past that point. You, you know that we're past it, right? Uh, you, you obviously yeah, know. Me. Okay. No. So right. here, here's the thing. Is it reasonable for your car to get booted for you to, and the guy not tell me how much it is? He was in the process, like you just said, of scrolling through his thing, getting everything done. It's a private company that booted your car. And instead of for waiting, eating that sushi song, in, in, sushi in, song. Instead of waiting, yeah, where were you parked? Sushi song. What stop? What what parking lot? Sushi song. The back part, the old you, Denny's, the old Denny's parking yeah. lot. Did you pay for it through the attendant? Yeah, so, reasonably, when you get booted from a spot, you don't just change your tire and then leave on it okay, that like that, that's that's I, you know what? very very unintelligent thing to do it, it is right, so what, does he want? what does he want he doesn't want anything right now we're, we're waiting we're gonna meet with him and see what he wants if he wants to charge you with theft you're gonna get arrested for f***ing theft because you stole his like let's be well, honest with yourselves here like come on man you're not dumb well you're not a dumb human being listen i'm gonna tell you what he didn't tell me how much it was so and because and i parked there so many times like that so that, if you were to go to a store you go to a you go to Publix. Right, and there's yep. something without a brand, uh, without a barcode on it. And you ask, the, you ask them, that's hey, the, how much is this? About. How much they're, is this banana? Hold on, how much is this banana? And uh, they're looking yeah. through the thing, and you say, well, you're not going to tell me, so I'm going to take the banana. Instead, he kept coming up with dumb excuses. And I, you know Man. what? Yeah, I fucked up. So what? You know what? You know what? I fucked up. Five minutes, and he was like, ten minutes later, I'm already pissed off that my truck's booted because I, I was in there for. Who knows how long waiting on food or waiting to get a seat. And then he doesn't, he goes, Oh, let me find out how much it is. And he's scrolling. And he's like, And I said, Dude, I said, This is ridiculous. I said, You know what? I just, I changed the tire and all that, dude. Like, if he wants a hundred dollars, then I'll give him a hundred dollars. I'll go to the bank right now and give him a hundred dollars cash. I don't give a, but it's just up that they don't have a big ass sign at the entrance. They have little signs behind where you park and everybody thinks that's Denny's parking lot still. After waking his dad up, the officer told them that Edward would be arrested if the man pressed charges. And this entitled cop didn't like that. Well, you know what, you know what happens with that dad? If that happens, you don't let them in the yard. They gotta get a search warrant for the fucking house to get the Cause I already hit, I already got the out of my truck, so it's fine. But if you want to go that route, it's, it's a lot no, more complicated it's, than that. No, it's it fine. Is. I don't know how much you know about all that stuff, but no, it's a lot more complicated. You, you, 
I know you're a deputy. I know you think you're. You, I know you think you're really up to date with it. But it's a lot more complicated than just not letting us in the yard. Because if we're gonna get a search warrant, we clear that house, and every living thing in that house gets pulled out and sat out here, mm-hmm. and we secure it, which means it's gonna cause an inconvenience for the entire household. And is that what you? And is that what you really want? The thing is, I'm telling you right now. I, listen, I will give the guy his group back. I will pay him a hundred dollars right now, whatever it is. We're not, we're not on the bartering system. I know that. I know that. Gonna, we don't but barter. you know what's f-ed up is that he has tiny ass f-ing signs, are not at the front. And the guy Edward had stolen the boot from wanted way more than just his boot back. And Edward was about to find that out. My sergeant just wants me to ask you: Where are you? Do you want to press charges on this for theft, or yeah. what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, I'd like to use a jackass to do something. So press charges yeah. for sure. Okay, now, next thing is how much is the boot valued at? Uh, the boot itself, he owes me $61 plus the boot. The boot I think I paid like 40 bucks for, so. So the boot, just the value of the boot, because that's what he stole. Oh, 40 bucks. $40? Yeah. I mean, he stole parking too. Yeah, okay. Technically. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, physical property. So $61 in parking. in parking and $40 for the boot. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's go, buddy. Grab. This entitled cop really thought he held all the cards, but Edward's dad had no plans of getting involved in his son's BS. We'll go get it. It's not how it works. Is that your trailer? Yeah. Okay, and you're telling us hey, we can go in there and get it out of the trailer with you? Okay. Yeah, I'm very glad that you're being reasonable with us because we were about to pull everybody out of the house and I was going to call in detectives and write a search warrant on the house. We have a job to do and we're going to do it the right way, so that would be a big truck tire with a boot. And again, you're the owner of this trailer? Let me help you with it. What, what's your name, though, again, sir? Randy. Randy Swagger, I'm guessing? Yeah. I'm Sergeant Corey. Again, appreciate your uh, cooperation with us and that we didn't have to go a different route of doing this. So, Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, recover that. Um, you don't need to. Officer Malik is a big, strong man. He can uh, bring that up if you don't mind, please. That's fine. Okay. We can make this gentleman do that. I can't believe my son would do something like this. And what did Edward say about this turn of events? Edward Swagger was charged with theft. There's no information on the case or if he's been fired. Something tells me he's still out there, stealing boots to this day. But what he did doesn't even come close to what this band of crooks, oh, scratch that, cops, stole. On July 26, 2021, a landlord contacted the Smith County Sheriff's Office to assist in the eviction. Also, sending the renters out of the home, officers LaQuenda Banks, Derek Holman, and Chief Deputy Curtis Trailer Harris got to work. Hold on. Hold on, don't come down here. If you're wondering why this cop just shoved someone into her jacket with the camera on, it's because she had no idea it was on, catching them right in the act. Hold on. They quickly took out the illegal stuff so everyone would see why they were inside for a while. Then, after checking if the body cameras were off, spoiler alert, they weren't. <laughs> they went in for another haul. <coughs> they.
With two hours on the clock, they got busy tearing through the place. They good, huh? There. What is it? This is about last night. <laughs> Piss now. I beg your girl. So sure would hate to sanitize it. You still in here? You found something else? Then, after giving themselves pats on the back, they left with their loot. <laughs> You need to go sit down and rest a little bit. Yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. <laughs> you got a little, little fat over there. <laughs> trying to find a pocket. <laughs> you see the gun he found? Yeah. Um. Is this the thing you need? Yeah. It's just a detail. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he ran under that, that first chair. Yeah. There you go. But they coming in, so I have to get them, get them out. They can wait in their car. The three had made off with a whole bunch of stuff. That's when they allegedly started searching for items they could steal. According to the warrants, more than $3,000, two laptops, and two iPhones were taken. Not exactly things that people would just forget about, you know? The renters reported to the police, and this police chief went from wearing a badge to sporting black and white pinstripes. It has been pushed back to September 19th. Trailer Harris lawyer hopes his client will one day return to his job in Precinct 1. And it wasn't just him. All three were arrested and charged with three counts of theft, abuse of an official capacity, and official oppression. LaQuenda took a plea deal and started pointing fingers. Banks admitted what she did was wrong, but that she felt coerced by both of her co-defendants to steal. I was forced to do it. If I would have said no, I would have most likely gotten fired. Were you aware of what she was doing? No. Did you have any coordination in what she was doing? No. There's been one thing after another where they're trying to find me doing something wrong or illegal to get me out of office and put somebody else that they want to be in there. In the end, Chief Deputy Curtis was sentenced to five years probation, LaQuenda to 18 months, while Derek was found not guilty. Just another day in the office for a bunch of dirty cops.